Coming up next, we have our next artist who will be talking about themselves and presenting their work. So I'd like to welcome James Waterman uh, to the screen now. Lovely. James, are you with us? Uh, hello. Welcome, James. Welcome to the competition. Hi. Well done for getting this far. How are you? I'm all right. I'm excited, but a bit nervous. <laughs> Don't be nervous. As I've said before, we are all so excited to to have you here today. And do tell us, tell us, uh, and tell the judges a bit more about yourself and your art and and how you're here today. Oh well, I've been. Mean, I've always been drawing like, my whole life. Uh, <laughs> um, I started off. Um, I knew obviously I wanted to be an artist from day one. Um, I originally wanted to be a concept artist. So I trained, um, originally went to college, studied art and design and photography. So I got really into photography, especially like black and white, uh, which is like really inspired my art a lot. And from there, I did a degree in computer games art at the University of Great Art. And then since when I left uni, I started doing um, some freelance work, working on like video games and doing some concept art and like a lot of digital work, just like, you know, sort of shots and things like that. Um, I was still doing photography, um, but then I sort of transitioned more towards the traditional medium. And I guess for me, I started wanting to put more emphasis on less design work and more kind of emotional sort of stuff. Mm. And I think for me, it started off doing a lot of, I've always done shorts and charcoal drawing, ever since I was like, you know, at college. And I'd say that was probably my preferred medium. And a lot of the artwork that I do is tends to be quite large scale. So it's like A1 size. Okay. And I suppose after doing that for like a year, uh, I guess uh, <laughs> I guess I got I was lucky to get my first commission. It was like the uh, which was the junior Caesar piece of the uh, statue. Yes. Uh, that piece was probably the most ambitious piece I've ever done of the detail in it mm. and it was such a large piece of things like a one size so it took me about i think months to complete wow. <laughs> and the upper course because the amount of detail in it and things like that i had to really spend a lot of time to try and convey that through um and i say for me because i like to travel a lot and i love photography that i suppose really like helps reinforce my art life and like obviously going to trips to like rome made a huge inspiration for me because looking at rock art, Michelangelo, uh, this really helped. And a lot of the work that I usually do is tend to be for family photographs because I kind of want to put my own take on it. I want to edit it, I want to kind of compose it. So with the statue piece, it was going for more of a pyramid composition, like a lot of the famous Renaissance painters would do. Mm. And I say for that piece, the biggest thing I was looking for was this massive amount of depth and drama with all the like muscles and form to exaggerate it to give it a real sense of presence and then from there it kind of just you know really set the tone for a lot of my artwork and then I wanted to do something that was a bit more personal so I because I live near the countryside I'm surrounded by horses <laughs> so I shoot a lot of my own photographs and then I uh, based on my old piece which was the junior season and I wanted to go for more of that style where it was motion <laughs> and uh, yeah <laughs> they are they're absolutely wonderful actually James really I love the detail on there thank you ever so much for for presenting your work and let's hear what the judges have to say um, about the work today and if we go straight to Terry if you could give us some feedback on, on James Hi James, good to meet you. Some very, very nice pieces of work there, James. And this is chalk and charcoal. I mean, the, the yeah. level of detail and the layers is really incredible. You're clearly a very talented person, James, in terms of what you've managed to create using those materials. I mean, I looked at it first and I thought, this, this is this really just chalk and charcoal? Uh, the, the, the way you have managed to get the depth the texture into those images. And then the first one, um, Julius Caesar, you know, that that instantly I just thought, 
you know, the, the great Italian sculptors, Michelangelo, I just thought, this is a really excellent representation of that in a, in a more one-dimensional form. So I just thought there were both the, the, the subtlety that you managed to cre create um, and the finesse with the horse as well. I mean, horses are wonderful, majestic animals. And I think you've really managed to create to 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 create that sense of of, of majesty in those animals in those animals of horses. And I really love that. I mean, I'm I'm actually scared of horses if I'm really honest. But oh, Terry, the, the, we... the, 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 the beauty, the handsomeness of those audiences are out. So very very well done. Excellent pieces. Thank you very much. Thank you. That's fantastic. Thank you, Terry. Geetha. Hi, James. Hi there. <laughs> it's such a pleasure to have seen your work. Um, the technique is just simply exemplary. Um, right. I, I felt that your uh, responsibility in doing that Michelangelo painting would have, uh, would have been um, would have been far more responsible actually you know uh, because this is to do with tapping into the mind of another artist a sculptor and also the character yeah. itself to portray those emotions your understanding of the anatomy of the body uh, all of that mattered a lot here and the proportions the way you've done the proportions and uh, the details of the the folds in the cape and all the accessories where, where it's a metal, it comes across as a metal and it's not because it's, it, you don't have different colors and to work within just those two shades, you know, to, to bring that quality of a metal to, a, to a te the texture of the cloth and so on, such, um, you know, precision, so much attention to details, which is, um, is remarkable and such a striking feature of uh, your paintings, both. Um, of course, uh, the emotion in, in the horse is just, um, it melted my heart just looking at uh, that painting. Um, you know, it was, uh, again, the details of it, the nose and, you know, uh, so many details of it, but the expression on the eyes of the horse, oh, I said, oh, I could have this in my lounge, you know, so it's oh, wow. beautiful, beautiful, um, great. And I felt really emotional looking at that painting. Um, I, all in all, um, I was in awe of your work and I wish you the very best. Oh, thank you so much, Geetha. That's wonderful. Emily, over to you. Hi, hi, James. Lovely to meet you. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the um, other two judges have really said a lot about the beauty and the power in your work and you know it, it, it's chalk and charcoal for me on another level because I can remember using it as a medium myself and it's it's tricky um it's just the depth and um what you're trying to say Julius Caesar we can see he's really powerful um and and at, and at a glance you almost think it is a picture you mentioned photography but we know it's a sculpture because of the eyes um yeah, it's just done it. I would like to ask one thing from you. You said it was a commission piece. So was yeah. that for residential? Was it commercial? Or I'm just intrigued. It was actually for a close family member of mine. <laughs> that, uh, obviously, okay. because I thought I was doing those drawings, and I guess uh, one of them <laughs> was really impressed. And they said, I'd really like, because they shared the same passion for a lot of the rock art and that sculptural. So I remember sitting down and choosing a few secondary photos to sort of pick and then <laughs> going from there. But <laughs> And they must have been so pleased with it. I mean, it's the detail in the cloak and all the armoury. It's just, you know, you've got a real eye for detail. Very clever. The horse, I absolutely love. I grew up with horses. I was very lucky to work on a film um, with some stuntmen that owned horses, the Andalusian stallion. So I can see that you've captured, you know, getting up close to a horse like that. So as Terry was scared of them, I'm not scared of them. <laughs> um, now, I wasn't as a, you know, a young woman. Um, I actually had the opportunity to work on first night and, you know, we had a stable girl looking after these horses. It's, you know, the power you've captured, their beauty, their power, um, the muscle again on his chest um, or she at her chest. And then the way the mane is floating, you know, so for me, these did stand out. These are, 
you know, I have to say some of my favourite pieces. If oh. I was going to say that, thanks. Wonderful. Well, James, there are some absolutely wonderful comments there. So Emily saying that, you know, it's taking uh, chalk and charcoal to, to another level. And Geetha is in awe of your work. And, and Terry talking about the excellent representation that, uh, that your artwork has of, um, of looking at Julius Caesar. So what are your thoughts on what the, on the judges? I'm honestly just overwhelmed by it. <laughs> um, I mean, they definitely obviously said exactly what I'm kind of intending for. I mean, I want to give that sense of power and obviously showing, if I can show as much form as possible and explore through using a lot more motion in my, piece, in my pieces, mm -hmm. that's generally what I'm kind of aiming for. So to hear obviously experts Raging, you know, saying that they love it. I'm, I'm over the moon. <laughs> oh, well, James, it's the work is absolutely excellent, and I, I think everyone can agree on that. You've done absolutely brilliantly to get this far, and I'm really pleased that you've been able to um, hear from our expert panel of judges today. I, it's only now to wish you every every luck uh, in the competition, and thank you ever so much for for attending today. Thank you, James. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, that was fantastic. Thank you, judges.